Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise pollution. Critical listening rooms, I don't care if it's mix, voice, two-channel, theater, it doesn't matter. All critical listening rooms have two parts, right? The shell, the barrier, and the treatment. Absorption and diffusion in the inside. A lot of people get these mixed up. You can't use absorption and diffusion to stop noise. You can treat the energy inside the room by using absorption and diffusion, but you can't stop noise. Barrier technology is different, okay? Noise transmission is all about vibration. So it's completely different. Costs increase with every dB of noise. This is why we have to measure, because we don't want to spend any more money on noise than we have to. It's a pain, right? We're not going to get the money back. We can't take it with us because it's a permanent build. Well, some clients want to try to do that. They're building walls that they can remove. But my gosh, at 10, 15, 20 pounds per square foot, you're going to need 10 guys to move a small wall section. So I don't know how that's going to all work out. Probably should do a video on that one. But let's look at some numbers that we, we can give you kind of a feel for. It. Costs increase with every dB of energy. If we're designing with noise at 85 dB SPL, let's say that costs X. You jump to 90, just 5 more dB, it doubles. 95 triples, and over 100, it's a nightmare. Four times and five times the cost. So this is huge cost here. Okay, huge cost that we're never going to see. But guess what? It's got to be fixed. Or you won't be able to work in it, no matter how much absorption and diffusion you put in the room. So this is something to be concerned about. We got to measure. A lot of you don't want to spend the money to measure. Okay, I get it. But now you're guessing. And guessing with noise is foolish. Because look, you guess wrong. You have a 95 dB problem and you design and build for 85. It's not going to work. Bad part about the whole process is whatever you build, probably got to tear it out and start all over again. Guessing's very expensive, especially with noise. So we must measure noise to control our costs. We don't want to spend any more money than we have to, right? That's horrible. These numbers are horrible. It's the way it is, okay? Until we come up with, with better science and stuff, probably in the electronic domain, in cancellation, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, okay? Haven't got the low frequency energies with the electronic systems figured out yet, though. Must measure noise to control it. We don't want to spend any more money than we have to with noise, right? We're not going to get it back. The noise numbers tell us what materials we're going to use, how, how, what the densities are, how to construct it. Two breakpoints below 125 and above 125. Those are our two breakpoints that we work with with noise. But be careful here. Be careful with these costs because they can really, really hurt you. I've seen projects spend all their money on noise and have nothing left for absorption and diffusion. They got a quiet room, but reverb times are too high and the modal issues are driving them nuts. So you got to be careful here. So watch noise, watch noise pollution, and measure, measure, measure. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.